This presentation is done by Professor Satish Fetangari from Dr. D. Y. Patol Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. In today's session, we will discuss about the equipments and fuels used in the kitchen. In this slide, we will discuss about types of equipments used in the kitchen. Kitchen equipments are divided into three categories. First category is large equipment. It includes ranges, steamers, boiling pans, fryers, tables, sinks. Second category is mechanical equipments. It includes peelers, mincing machines, mixers, refrigerators, dishwashers, exhausts. Third category is small equipments and utensils. It includes pots, pans, whisks, bowls, spoons, knives, gritters. In this slide we will discuss about large equipments. Large equipments are cooking ranges, steamers, boiling pans, deep fat fryers, working tables, sinks. In this slide we will discuss about mechanical equipments. Mechanical equipments are potato peeler, mincers, mixers, dishwashers, exhausts, refrigerators, ovens. In this slide we will discuss about small equipments and utensils. Small equipments are pots, pans, whisks, bowls, spoons, knives, gritters. In this slide we will discuss about properties of materials used in tools and equipments. The first one is copper. Properties of copper is good conductor of heat, does not rust or pit, expensive to purchase. Cleaning instructions for copper utensils are wash with soap and hot water. Never scour the inside of a tin pan. Clean the outside with either salt and vinegar or suitable cleaner. In this slide we will discuss properties of aluminium metal. Aluminium is not good conductor of heat. It is cheaper than copper, will not rust. It is not suitable for white sauce preparation. Thin metal saucepans will produce hot spots. Cleaning instructions are Wash with soap and hot water. Burnt on food residue can be removed with scarring pad. In this slide we will discuss about properties of iron metal. Iron metal is durable. It is poor conductor of heat. It is inclined to rust so is best used where fat or oil is regularly used for cooking. Cleaning instructions are Wash with soap and water. Burnt on food residue can be removed with hard bristle brush. Dry well and oil very lightly. In this slide we will discuss about properties of black or plain steel. It is good conductor of heat. It is durable. It rusts quickly if not thoroughly dried. It is suitable where cooking involving oil or fat. Cleaning instructions are Best wiped with an oily cloth. Wash with soap and water. In this slide we will discuss about properties of stainless steel. It is very poor conductor of heat. It is often incorporated with copper base. It rusts quickly if not thoroughly dried. Cleaning instructions are Wash with soap and water. Burnt on food residue can be removed with hard bristle brush. In this slide we will discuss about properties of wood. Properties are it is porous. Unhygienic when not cleaned properly. Burns when exposed to high temperature. Cleaning instructions are. Wash with soap and fairly hot water. Rinse and dry well, if necessary scrub with brush. Never soak. In this slide we will discuss about properties of plastic. Properties are. It is not suitable for use at high temperature. It is cheap to purchase. Uses for equipments. Pudding bowls, storage bowls, trays. Measuring jugs, ice tray, microwave cooking, chopping boards. Cleaning instructions are. Wash in soap and hot water. Rinse, drain and dry. In this slide we will discuss about properties of china and earthenware. 
properties are it heats up slowly it retains heat for longer time it is easily broken it has to handle carefully cleaning instructions are wash with soap and water burnt on food residue can be removed with stiff bristle brush after soaking